Hi everyone, welcome to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise of Plan With Elise, and today is going to be a different type of video. So normally in this moment, you would get my dashboard layout before the pen for the week of August 22nd through 28th. However, I'm on vacation this week, um, but I didn't want this spread to go to waste. I don't need it because I'm gonna be away. I'm only gonna be home Saturday and Sunday. So I would have just covered all this up and this to-do list would have been minimal because I've been working ahead to prepare for being away while still having content up. So one of my one of the things that's requested a lot is how to use a dashboard layout when you're not using it for social media because I know a lot of those who create YouTube videos are doing the dashboard for social media. There are others who use it, plenty of others who use it without it. I know of one um, YouTuber who does is Katie of Fake It Till You Make It, so make sure you check out her channel. But today I thought I would take a previous week that I've already lived and already written in in my vertical and kind of trans transfer transfer the info into my dashboard kind of to figure out and show you how I would use the dashboard if I were using it for my daily life. So, and like as my regular catch-all and not uh, a vertical spread. I still do prefer a vertical when it comes to the way that I organize my life because it just makes more sense for my brain. Um, but this video will be just for fun. I'm just trying to decide what stickers I wanna use. I feel like it just makes sense to start over here with one of these. But then that focus on, I know I'm like tempted to do what I always do with my spread. So I'm like, what would I use this little part for? Let's hold off. I know that I'm tempted to always cover that first. Let me take a sip of coffee. Okay, um, let's bring in some of these boxes. I feel like maybe I should have gone for a more tame sticker book, but we'll start. So I am going to cover these up because I want to be able to use them oops, for other things. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in this green one here and then let's do uh, maybe this pinkish red and we can do a light green and let's do the red again. And then one more red over here. Okay, and the reason I'm going to be filling this in on video is because otherwise it would probably be similar to one of my dashboards and then it would just be an empty spread like I would have done if I were doing my regular. So I'm going to categorize these for, um, let's see, finance. And um, maybe plans. Groceries. And to do. Okay, so let's go for the finance first. Let's see if we have some fun boxes or bullets that I could use here. Maybe these bullets would be good. Where are my tweezers? Oh, just when I think I take out all the supplies needed to do a video, we have one missing. So I guess I will just use my fingers. We have three. these down with bullets. Okay, I need to turn my camera off. I gotta find my tweezers. Okay, now in case you were curious, I have my tweezers, but in case you were curious, the week that I'm doing is actually the week of May 9th through 15th. I just looked back through my planner and thought what would be a good week where I have a variety of things that I could put in here. So um, the dates aren't gonna quite match up, but we're gonna, we're gonna pretend that they do <laughs> anyway. So um, we're going to write, 
E-L-E-C-T-S-E-G-2. That's New Jersey's electric. And let's see if we have a little something here we could mark as paid, or I could just draw a little, a little box. Oh, this would have been good for this section. Hmm. Do we redo it? I feel like we might want to move these. I don't know this sticker book well enough yet. Whoops. To know. We can do it. Come on. What stickers are in here? But this is a good, a good one. Okay. Now, 515, Geico, and I'm just going to write auto pay. And then as a to-do, bank, and envelopes. All right. Now, Let's put in groceries. So I'm just gonna put in a basic grocery list for myself. I just need to like turn this, it's easier for me to write. So we'll write milk, bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, strawberries, chicken, lettuce, eggs, um, what would I put in my salad? Tomatoes, salad dressing, and English muffins. Okay, so that's a typical grocery list for me, and it's something that you could fill out. This, I don't I need this ruler, and it's like the glare is bothering me. It's something that you could fill out definitely throughout the week. Um, all right, so let's do plans. I'm probably going to need two bullets here because there were a lot of plans that week, and this is something that actually these don't necessarily need to be bullets, but... We can do them that way, just to kind of go along with this side. So I'm gonna do two rows here, and we are going to start with, um, I'm gonna write T for Tuesday, was a co-working Zoom, 7 p.m. Then Wednesday, baseball, game, 5.30. I guess I didn't need to write 7 p.m. when I could have. Yeah, that's okay. Um, Friday, Oh, it was, I remember this week, it was my boss's birthday party. Saturday, I had squad meeting. Ten thirty, and this is a good place that you can write in your, um, like work meetings or things like that if you needed to. And then also Saturday, uh, soccer. Game. And 2 p.m. And um, all right, SU for Sunday, baseball game. If you are new to my channel, my niece and nephew play a lot of sports. Right now, these are all my nephew's sports, but as my niece is getting older, her sports are coming in. Baseball game, 
and that's 11 a.m. So as um, as an aunt, I do try to go to as many as I can because I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing them play. All right, I'm going to hold off on these two sections for a sec. Let's kind of play around and fill this in like I would. So one of the cool things that happened, I like this box over here on Monday, I hit 10,000 YouTube subscribers that day. And I do like to note those kinds of things in my planner because they're special to me and I want to remember them. So 10,000 subscribers, that would have been a good thing to do for a box and a very good thing to use a box for. And then we need some kind of motivational quote. Let's see. Believe in the good. I like that. I'm like, where would I put it? There's always a reason to smile. Hmm. Maybe this, these would be better. One happy life. What if we kind of bring this in over here as not to break up any of that those spaces? Okay, then when I'm looking at the to-dos I had from that week, see, I feel like there were full checklists. There are, there's these, these are pretty. So let's bring in this green one. And they're not gonna be, they're a little bit long because these are sized for vertical and not the dashboard. It made sense for me to use a dashboard sticker for this video, huh? What do you think? Okay, so I'm just gonna move my um, to-dos over here from that planner and then we'll, we'll get back to this side. So, um, straight down. Up, desks always in my planner. <laughs> Organize envelopes. Update savings tracker uh, vacuum and read 30 minutes okay and then something else I should have noted in here and didn't so I want to see if there's another sticker that might give me room for it this oh I used those pink ones let's bring in maybe a blue did I use blue at all no I didn't use blue at all ah! I always need more boxes. There's room. There we go. I could do this. Okay. Mondays are payday. So it's kind of overlapping to Monday to Tuesday, but that's okay because in my vertical, I overlap things all the time. All right. Tuesday. I'm going to want another box. I feel like this is going to end up being a long video because I'm really kind of starting like from scratch and filling it in. Um, is my Patreon Zoom, so co-working. Zoom. 7 p.m. And then let's go back to, I like this sticker. I'll put that here. We'll get back to that. Checklist, what I was looking for, right? Where were you? Nope, not those. There we go. Um, let's bring in a pink one. <sighs> a 
Okay. I think what I'm going to do just to save on time a little bit so that this doesn't become an hour long video is just get these checklists down. I'm going to fill them in and then we'll go back and look at the left side of the page. And also I'll, I'll wait to put in these other boxes and plans and things like that so that we can do that part together and really see how different the dashboard actually would be if I were using it for my regular non-social media life. All right, so to-dos are in. I didn't do Saturday because I didn't really do any to-dos that day. I did film one video, but um, the rest was plans. So I wanna go back and fill in some of these other things. So let's, I didn't use, okay. Um, let's see. You really need the small boxes over here. So I feel like these are all just going to be kind of layered, but I think this is how I would do it. I don't know. Um, baseball. Five thirty, and this day is my ball or was. Remember, we're not using the actual dates here, and I just felt like it wouldn't really mean anything to redate it back to May and my boss's birthday. Okay, um, I did put in the Zoom Thursday. I got maybe a little tight on space here. A manicure and found a new nail color, I'm not wearing it now, but the color I noted in here was <laughs> number 298. I think I did a, an after the pen video this week. Um, genuine, I think, I think it's like DCN gel polish or something, but I really liked that color. And then, let's see, I could bring in one of these guys, I don't know. Or we can go back to the boxes because that's my comfort zone, right? Um, okay. Next party. All right. Top three is going to go right over here on Saturday. And then maybe we can bring in something fun and decorative. So Saturday was a squad meeting. Then I went out for brunch and then soccer. So I think it was squad meeting 10.30, brunch 12.30, and soccer 2 p.m. And then let's look for something to put in here. Oh, and while we're over here, one more, one more very important was baseball. I noted that at 11 a.m. All right, um, let's go back and bring in something relational, or maybe flowers. There aren't a lot of flowers in here yet. I'm looking for hmm, a combination of flowers, like these big ones down here, but not quite that size. I don't know if they have them. Or we could bring in this, be kind to you. Or today I choose joy. I don't know if that's gonna be. I'm gonna put that one back. And we'll use be kind to you. I know it's foil, but it fits nicely over here. Okay. This part, um, this can be used for anything that is on a daily basis. It can be dinner, it can be gratitude. When I do my social media planner, it's my YouTube schedule. Um, I think for this week, we are going to write gratitude. Okay. 
Okay, so Monday would have been a YouTube milestone. Tuesday, um, looks like I did some things for budgeting. So we're, you know what, forget about matching it to this. We're just going to not fake the gratitude. <laughs> Oops, um, I'm just gonna talk about things that I'm grateful for when I think about this week. So they are gonna be real things. It's just not 100% an accurate representation of every day, having a budget. I'm always grateful to have a budget and to have been, you know, been working towards better financial decisions. Um, Wednesday, I wrote down a new book. So grateful for reading. just finding my love of reading once again. Um, Thursday, let's write um, self-care, it's kind of gratitude. To have the time for the self-care, self-care time. Okay, um, Friday, I'm gonna write reminiscing. When I went to my boss's birthday party, I hadn't seen him in a really long time, like a couple of years, because we are a remote company. Um, but there were a lot of coworkers there that I also hadn't seen in a lot of years. And it was just really cool. Cause like they remember when I first brought, like bought a planner and brought it to the office. And I was like, this is my planner. And they're like, we work on computers. I'm like, but this is my planner. And now seeing all the things that Plan with Elise have has done since then. Um Saturday, squad meeting, brunch, soccer. Uh, soccer it was a big game. I remember that. That was in Hoboken, New Jersey. And that was a massive, amazing thing. Whoops. And Sunday, we're going to write feeling productive. If I can fit it. Okay. I feel good when I feel productive. All right. I feel like this side is probably <laughs> already handled. Now, the reason that one of the dashboard doesn't necessarily work for me in terms of my personal life is because while I could put my groceries and I could put financial things, these two sections, plans, I often don't have plans when a week begins. Sometimes I do, but mm, I'd say like out of four weeks of a month, three of them, I don't have things ironed out when the week starts and it's just hard to do this. Now, if we look at this week, this week would have been right because I knew I had the birthday party. We had sports games, um, a squad meeting, like all of these things were kind of set in stone a squad meeting. Ex I mean, co-working zoom, except for the manicure, that was probably a last minute decision, but most weeks I don't necessarily know what the things are going to be now. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to take what I wrote in here and what I actually did and transfer it over. But I feel like many people might know at the beginning of the week what they need to do. Most of my I know I need to do this at the beginning of the week things are social media related. And that's why this works so well for me when it comes to my plan with Elise planner. But things that I would have needed to do would have been, um, let's fill in like, Clean office, um, clean kitchen, because you could use this as a cleaning list. Run dishwasher. And schedule. Also, one of the reasons that I put social media things in my regular planner in addition to my dashboard planner is because I don't have a, a long list of personal to-dos every day. Um, on an average day, it may be like making a phone call, paying a bill, cleaning something, but I don't have enough in my life to fill up my planner, which is okay because Plan with Elise definitely fills it up. So while my dashboard layout for social media holds everything and really has the details and all the organization, um, my regular planner kind of 
shifts to that and that's how I can use them simultaneously. Uh, let's see. Saturday is plans. Just needed to like iron those out. Um, start a new book. Um, I didn't put the bills in here. I forgot to do that part, but that's okay. They're over here, so I could have moved back to this side and known that. Um, take out recycling. And film. Okay, now we are ready for this bottom part. So I do like this flower right over here. I wish I would have brought some of it in up here, but I still think that my brain works best with this being a functional layout because everything is so segmented. And I know you could argue that in the vertical, everything is segmented too. And I just go outside of the lines. Like it's not wrong. I don't know what to put over here. Let's put this here. But my brain, that's why there's different planner layouts, right? For different areas of our lives, but also because our brains work differently. And I think that's what's awesome about being able to um, use the layout that works best for you when it comes to figuring out your life. Um, I don't know what to put over here. I kind of, if I didn't use grad, if I used this for meals, I could have done some gratitude down here, but I'm just seeing if anything is going to inspire me in the book. I have some decoration. I have a quote. Um, we could bring in a box. I don't know. I don't necessarily have a use for it, but I don't want to leave it be. So we're going to find something. Okay, we're going to journal. We're going to journal. So um, there's not a ton of space, but I'm just going to um, maybe put on a little music for a sec and just kind of write about this week that I would do like at the end of the week. Okay, so I just journaled a little bit. I think that actually worked really well um, in terms of that space. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and just kind of how I would use this if I were using it for my regular life. Again, I, I don't think it's that different from how I would use it, how I, how I use it regularly. And that's kind of what I wanna stress when I'm doing my dashboard videos is that um, I mean, there were a lot of boxes here, but now you kind of know a little bit more as to why the vertical works for me and why this works for me for social media. So I hope there wasn't too much over explaining. I just kind of wanted to talk you through how I would do it, but also why I don't do it, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up. YouTube is paying attention to the interactions you are having with my videos and um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Thanks again. I will see you next time.